Good day ladies and gents, today is the day when BSG takes another L. From my point of view, you might agree, you might not agree with me, it's up to you. But they banned LUT filters today. So first of all, what is LUT filters? LUT filters are the filters for the game which were made by a third party uh, company, a third party software. Overall, there were a couple of filters you can select from, which made your game look a bit brighter, a bit more saturated and generally generally nicer. Uh, you could uh, select uh, filters to make sure that they suit the map, like if you play interchange the map wouldn't look as red as it is and it wouldn't look as dark in some areas. And labs, customs, you could apply those filters to all the maps, alright? So it was like post effects, except it was, uh, it was looking better than post effects and it seems like it was working better as well because it wouldn't take any of your frames as post effects does. So, two or three days after those LUT filters were released to the public, BSG stated that DWM LUT is now officially blocked due to the large number of uses of specific filters to obtain an unfair advantage. So, remove LUT filters from your PC, otherwise the game will be unavailable. They're not banning for those filters, but you won't be able to launch the game. And BSG got a lot of shit for this on Twitter, on Reddit, literally everywhere. I instantly made a post asking about, like, have you have you seen the game without the filters? Saying, like, look, BSG, hello? This is the picture with no filter, and this is the picture with a filter. I used NVIDIA panel for that. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't using LUT filters. Lots of people in the comment section uh, on my Twitter after I posted it said, like, oh yeah, it's just like all of those esports players that can't keep up without using their OP broken filters that make the game so bright, like, it's like cheating. Like, I'm not, I wasn't even using LUT filters, all right? I was playing with post effects and I was more or less fine with that. It's not about BSG disabling and banning LUT filters. It's more about the fact that people are losing opportunity. And BSG are saying it's to do, it's to do with unfair advantage. And somebody, somebody uh, said a really good thing. I like their tweet, let me find it real quick. This is a really great take. Honestly, this is the dumbest shit BSG has done in a minute. You can still do the same thing with monitor or hardware. If anything, the LUT filters was evening the playing field since uh, it let people without the hardware have something similar. And that is true. People with different monitors have different inbuilt monitor settings which will allow them to do exactly the same thing, if not better. And you can also do the same thing with NVIDIA panel. And BSG will never be able to ban them or disable them because it's, it's, it's just physically impossible. You can literally do the same thing what the LUT filter does and even more with NVIDIA panel filter, which BSG will never be able to ban. So using LUT filters, which make people play comfortable, they didn't have to play around with any of the numbers on NVIDIA panel, they like just, they, they just wouldn't be asked to, you know, like do anything. And you can achieve this with NVIDIA panel, it's just, it just it, it's so illogical to me, why would you disallow something that make that made people play the game comfortable in a comfortable way but you can still do the same thing and even more with nvidia panel and i don't even want to start talking about the monitors because people with tn panels are at disadvantage compared to people with ips panel isp panel because the black render is better uh what about mice my mouse right i've got a great expensive mouse and i can change my dpi i can put dpi of 2000 3000 etc what about people with 800 DPI? Should we disable all the mice with above 800 DPI? Because it gives players an, uh, an uh, unfair advantage? What about high-end PCs? What about players that get 120 FPS on sheets versus the players that get 35 FPS on sheets? That's an unfair advantage. Do we disable high-end PCs as well? Like, bro, I'm sorry this video is becoming a bit of a rant, but I hope you get my main idea of why I see this as such an illogical move especially when we have so many problems uh, that should be prioritized more, especially since it's been only two days since the filters were released in public, and this is it. PSG found it, they found the files, they banned them. What about the invisible players? What about the cheaters? Like, speaking of an unfair advantage, I, I've recently seen a clip from Trade24K, right? Um, I, ho I hope Trey doesn't mind me sharing this clip. Let's just watch it together. So here's my problem. For example, so I, I died to a cheater the other day. And now I'm not I'm not calling out anybody specific from BSG. I'm not gonna mention any names, anything, but I will say a representative of BSG I talked to about a cheater clip, right? 
I wanted to bring up the fact that I died to a cheater. I showed them a clip. I said, hey, this guy's cheating. And their response to this clip, not saying names, nothing. I'm not calling anybody out. I'm just showing, I'm, I'm explaining this to show you guys how wrong I think BSG is in their take on cheating in the game and how we actually need people that play the game enough and know what they're looking out looking at enough and are in touch enough to make these decisions so for example i showed a bsg employee representative whatever you want to call it this clip and they told me that aside from their name this clip could easily go either way insinuating that this this clip could be a cheater or this clip could not be a cheater and it could easily go either way this is the I clip in question five adrenaline this is the this is the clip in question hello that guy's fucking cheating okay I was told by a BSU representative that this clip could easily go either way. It's it would not make sense to ban them because this clip could easily go either way is what I was told. I I literally almost had a fucking seizure when I heard that shit. I was like, there's just I don't understand how anybody could look at this clip and say that it could easily go either way. Like, look at this guy. He's wearing a fucking killer helmet. This man is wearing a killer helmet and he jump shot me on a left hand. He's he has a green killer helmet with a black killer helmet face shield. He jumps mid-air through a fucking doorway, hits me with the first shot. I just if when you look up Escape from Tarkov Cheater, this is the first clip that comes up. So my my problem is if uh, if the people in charge of this stuff, right? see a clip like this and say it can go either way and we're not sure that this guy's cheating so we won't ban him or whatever right how could we possibly make any progress right <clears throat> um yeah so this is the clip i could say many specific things i can share many opinions on this but i think i'm gonna restrain i'm, go I'm just gonna restrain myself from that uh, you don't have to be a magician to, to guess my thoughts right now. I'm not sure what the priorities are, but if things like this happen with Trey, I mean, how can we, like, how can we talk to BSG and explain to them the fact that something is wrong with the lightning in the game? And let me show you a couple of examples to prove that. Alright, I think this place is a perfect example of what I have against the shadows in the game. Have a look at those two windows right there. They look extremely dark. And you can't see the interior, right? However, if you make few steps forward, they start rendering. And you, you can perfectly see them. You can see every single detail. And by making two steps backwards, they just don't render. This is the problem I have with shadows. If shadows were working fine in the game, people wouldn't have to use such high amount of gamma and uh, contrast in the game. This is the place I used to showcase and compare the filters on my Twitter. So there is a light source right above me. And the light is going everywhere on the room, right? Even from here, it goes in a straight line and lands like on those boxes right there. This is how the game looks without any filters whatsoever. And I can use some OBS filters to play around with Gamma as well as um, um, other filters, right? And you can do the same thing with NVIDIA, NVIDIA control panel. And we can get such a huge contrast, such a huge difference that it's insane. Look. This is what you can achieve with the filters. So this is with a filter, and this is without. And I'm trying to make it look nice as well. Of course I can play around even more and like increase the gamma. Like you can play around with the filters and get different picture. And I don't really get what's the point of disabling the LUT filters. I know I've said this so many times. When people can do this with usual filters on OBS, or if they're playing and they're not streaming, they can do this with the media control panel. Speaking of unfair advantage, how is this an unfair advantage, bro? Going to labs and dying to, to a rage hacker every single raid that is flying through the map, that, that's an unfair advantage. A guy who is speed hacking through the map, that's an unfair advantage. That should be the priority. 
I'm sorry, I know I might sound like an old, old grandpa who is just complaining non-stop, but man. Yeah, I don't really know how to end this video. Also, BG is saying that there is no bans for using LUT, but using any similar program in the future will be considered as the breach of TOS and result in a ban. I don't know, my... My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. I think this is a big L um, for the, for the, for the, for the, like, I don't even know, community, like... Uh, this just makes me sad, man. People want to have fun in the game. People want to see better. Like, some people will say this is an unfair advantage, but, like, what is an unfair advantage in FPS game? Having more frames is unfair advantage. Having high tech is unfair advantage. People with short hands have unfair advantage because whenever your brain makes the impulses, the impulse travels to your fingers faster because your arms are shorter. Like, you can put, you can say anything is an unfair advantage. So, and if post effects provided more options, provided enough options for people to make sure that the game looks as they want it to look, within a certain limit, of course, there wouldn't be such things now. So, yeah, I don't know. I really hope BSG fixes the shadows sometime, maybe not, because it's been like this for seven years. Uh, people have been complaining about interchange. If you go to play interchange, the map is super dark. I mean, I'll have to explain it. The interchange looks identical during daytime and the nighttime, even though there is a huge amount of windows everywhere. And you can, you can also check my IRL interchange video, how it looks inside. It looks so different to the Tarkov one. Even the parking, even the parking area is super bright and you can see everything. Um, so yeah, let me let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you were using filters if you weren't um, Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm just I think I'm just gonna stop here So yeah, thank you so much for watching my rant and I will see you in the next one